Hey guys, coming back uh, for another Shave of the Day video today. Um, got a really good shave for you. It's going to be using a Mercur, Mercur, or however you say that, uh, 34C. It's be a two piece razor. As you can see, it just comes apart like this. We're going to go ahead and drop our blade in, and today we're using an Astra SP blade. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a little bit of water in the sink here. We'll let that get hot. Um, bear with the noise. If you guys hear a, um, some pitter-patter of little feet, that's actually uh, the dog. I'm off today, so he wants to be around me all day long, so I apologize about that in advance. Um, for the shave cream that we're going to be using today, it's going to be one of my favorites, actually. It's going to be a Razor Rock. Essential oil of lime reminds me of being in Key West and seeing all the, or um, being around all the uh, key limes. It's a wonderful smell, uh, great, great soap. So I'm just letting my water um, fill up today. Uh, for our for our bowl, it's just a very inexpensive um, Vanderhagen bowl, as you can see here. But it works wonders. It's great. I actually enjoy it. It's very, very deep inside, so it gives you quite a bit of room. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, this is about two and a half days of growth. Um, I don't grow real, real thick facial hair, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot for you guys and hope you all enjoy. So I'm just out of the shower now. Get my water down in my sink here to warm up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there. Put a razor in the water. I, I like to use a. I like to go ahead and put my razor in the water as well. That way, I can keep that good and good and warm. Our brush today is nothing but a uh, inexpensive. Oh, I can pick it up here. Nothing but an inexpensive uh, Perfecto brand Badger brush. Nothing great, but then again. This Razor Rock soap is just, it's amazing. It, it lathers super easy. It's a great brush to use with that soap. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you're from the States, obviously there's been some, uh, some pretty bad weather here in the southeastern part of the United States, uh, especially in my area. I'm about uh, 130 to 150 miles from Houston, so we didn't get a lot of bad weather, but we just got quite a bit of rain. We're going to go ahead and get started lathering, and I'm going to talk while we lather here. Um, the forecast is saying that there's supposed to be some more uh, storms, some more hurricanes actually coming in um, down in Florida, which I'm sure you guys are already aware. They, they pretty much know that there's hurricanes there all the time, so not that first rodeo, to be honest with you. Oh. oh, the soap, just amazing. I love that lime smell. I just, oh, it's, it's, it's just wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's wonderful stuff. All right, well, I think we've got quite a bit loaded onto the brush already. Let me just set that aside. You can see I've got a pretty decent load on the brush. And just get out our little uh, mug here and start to uh, build a lather. I don't typically I don't typically bowl lather, but it just kind of seemed like the thing to do today. I'm off, have more time, don't have to worry about it near as much. Um, and you guys can see, I mean, it's already, already starting to produce an exceptional, exceptional lather. I'll show you all here in just a moment. Just needs a bit of water. Go just a couple drops there. There's the load on the brush. There's a the load in the bowl. So now we'll start our lather. And I like to go ahead and just drop that back down inside the uh, hot water to keep it good and warm. That way, there's nothing like putting a warm lather on your face here. Oh yeah. Oh, that smell is just, just gorgeous. If you guys hear the pitter-patter of little feet, 
it's going to be the Cocker Spaniel that we have. Well, that has us, I should say. Today's my day off, so I get to, get to spend time with him. And uh, he likes to try to get right up underneath my feet, so... I apologize in advance for that. So. Alright. Got a good, good, good lather here. Actually, you know what, we need a little bit more work right about there. And right in the mustache area. There we go. Let's just go ahead and paint that on. There we go. That's better. Just clear that off a little bit. Let me get it off my nose here, guys. There we go. So again, we're using a Mercury 34C. Uh, Astra by this is the third use of this Astra. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First is always going to be, or for me anyway, is always going to be with the grain going down right here. You guys can hear that fairly well. And just look at that lather still on the razor, so that you know we got a good, good build that time. Again, on the neck area, it's going to be straight down as well. We're going to get underneath the nose here. There we go. All right, on the chin. here at the base of the chin again. All right. Try my face off real fast. Um, so I can kind of feel here. Yeah, I'm feeling around a little bit. It's not bad for a first shave. And you know, if I just needed to shave every day for work, that'd be a decent shave already. So we'll get cleaned up and, and uh, get ready for pass number two. Not too bad. Too bad all that Astra is a wonderful blade. It is. I mean, it's just, just wonderful. Still got quite a bit of lather left on our brush, so we'll go ahead and lather it for round two. And I, I cannot highly enough recommend the Razor Rock Oil of Lime. Uh, if you like a citrus scent that takes you back to Key West and Maybe even make you want to start drinking um, whiskey and reading Hemingway. This is a great, great scent for that. Actually spent quite a bit of time down in uh, central and coastal Florida. And uh, even spent a couple months in Key West. It definitely reminds me of the key limes that grow down there. There we go. Alright, so second pass is going to be across the grain. So for me on my neck, that's going to be straight up. So we'll go ahead and get started with that one now. I tell you, that Astra blade really did a good job here. Never had a bad, never have a bad experience using this razor rock. Never have a bad experience with it. All right, 
Let me get a little bit more hot water in the sink here. Go. All right, had a had a hair there. It was not working too well for me. Had a pimple right here, so that's where that blood is coming from. Now on the face, we're going to go straight up again. All right, same thing on this side. actually start here and kind of curve, curve herself up, so watch this. There we go. Not too bad there. Same thing on this side. I'm trying to also get this where you guys can see as well, so that's why it's a little bit of an awkward angle. Go. Right here on the on the chin area, we're gonna go this way and then this way. There we go. And then right over here on this side. Straight down again. There we go. Missed a little spot right there. Let me come back and get that. Alright, not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm actually halfway happy with that shape. Uh, the mustache area is super, super smooth. Uh, it's always a trouble spot for me. So we'll go ahead and re-lather for the third pass now. I uh, don't need to actually get the mustache area again. That's, that's super, super smooth already. Uh, and it's always been a trouble area for me, so I try to only hit that twice if I can. I've got enough to go at least another pass if I need to with all this lather that I've got in here. And it just feels wonderful to have the warm, warm lather on your skin as well. So, there we go. All right, now, so for the neck area, mine goes to go. Across the grain, I actually have to go this. I actually have to go like this. So we'll go ahead and start on that now. There we go. All right, same thing down here again. Good right there. There we go. Give it a feel. Yep, a little spot of mist right there. Good job. Now on the face, we're going to go, again, we're going to go up against the grain. Or we're going to go this direction against the grain. So listen. There we go. A little bit of a spot right there. We'll come back and touch that up here in just a moment. There we go. And now I'm going to try this again here. Just come right up in the middle just like that. Just like that. There we go. Super smooth there. one little spot right here that I always have a problem with. Not too bad this time, but I actually, it's always a hard, hard area to get, so I always have to come back and hit it a second, a second time for that third pass. Just the way my hair grows, guys, so bear with me here for just a moment. A little 
little bit of a spot right there as well. Let's try that real quick. There we go. So, all in all guys, not too bad at all. Um, again, I did have already a spot right here, so I just unfortunately opened that up again, which tends to happen sometimes, doesn't it? We'll just go ahead and we'll stuff that one real fast for you. Stick, stick, stick pencil here. There we go. Alright, we're going to finish up with um, Old Spice. Again, it's not the normal Old Spice, it is the new Old Spice, but it's pretty nice stuff. Let's get a little bit of it in the hand here. So there we go. Um, again, guys, just to recap, Mercury 34C does a wonderful job, gives you a great shave, nice and smooth. Um, Astra SP blades, some of the best on the market. They're very smooth to me, uh, but they are also sharp. I cannot say enough good things about the Razor Rock essential oil of lime. I love that, love that smell, coupled with the Old Spice, Old Spice and Limes, it's just great stuff. Um, and, as always, the uh, Perfecto Badger Brush did a great job. Is it an Omega? No. Is it a Simpsons? No. Is it a Poisson? No. Does it do a good, a good job? Yes. Eight bucks off of, the, off of Amazon. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I sure enjoyed you guys coming along with me on this adventure. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.